Broadway cash crisis works on my Venezuela once again. Thanks. They removed the one that they called monetary Hey there, hope all is well. Back here today with some more RTD news updates. And so once again, we have a situation in the United States now where it looks like there are some issues with trust when it comes to an institution holding funds. And so it's one of them things where whenever you smell something that doesn't seem right, perhaps there's something really happening behind the scenes. And so today I have a couple articles I want to share with you all in relation to something that I think is worth warning you about. Given the fact that you guys know for the last several weeks, I've talked about a UK hedge fund manager that has had some issues, Mr. Neil Woodford, with his equity fund and having to close things down officially, trapping in billions upon billions of dollars. And so it's one of the things where now we have Ken Fisher under the microscope right now, and it's not looking good to say the least. We have close to about $3 billion right now withdrawn over the last two weeks as more institutions look to withdraw based upon some comments made by Ken Fisher. And so today I got a couple articles, as I mentioned, going to thumb through it, share my two cents on it. More importantly, leave all the articles below for you to find out more for yourself. But before I dive to those articles, as always. The next recession. Recession. Recession will be. Will be a recession. We're going to hit a recession. The date of the next recession. A, a U.S. only recession typically lasts eight to ten months. A, a crash is coming now, whether it's six months from now, 12 months, 36 months, no one knows. If you have the right plan to set up, uh, you can you can make a lot of money from this. So as I mentioned, I got a couple articles I want to share with you. I'm just going to literally touch on the surface and you do the research for yourself. But here we have billionaire Ken Fisher faces backlash over conference comments. And so this is what apparently triggered all this mass exodus of institutions primarily pension funds deciding to pull their funds from Fisher Investments, which manages several billion dollars. And so in my opinion, I think this is something that's newsworthy because it can escalate and it appears to be doing such as it looks like every couple of days, really big players are deciding to withdraw their funds. So definitely something worth taking a look at. But give you an idea what's going on. It says on Tuesday, and this is as of last, uh, the 11th of October, billionaire wealth manager Ken Fisher participated in a fireside chat at the exclusive Taborin CEO Summit in San Francisco. It says during the discussion, Fisher made several offensive comments, including mentioning genitalia and comparing winning clients' trust to, quote, trying to get into a girl's pants. Fisher apologized by saying, quote, I realize this kind of language has no place in our company or industry, but on Thursday he was barred from attending the conference again. So it looks like Ken Fisher, this gentleman right here, has been in the investment industry since 1979, I believe. And so billionaire Ken Fisher losses approached $3 billion after Goldman Sachs reportedly drops him from over sexist comments. And so I'll give you an idea, uh, just basically says Goldman Sachs is reportedly joining the list of clients, ditching Ken Fisher. Says the banking titan is pulling $234 million from Fisher Investments. It says Fisher clients, including Fidelity, have now pulled close to $3 billion. And then it goes on to give more information there. But with the very first pension fund that decided to pull funds happened to be from my home state here. It says Michigan pulls $600 million from Ken Fisher after lewd remarks. And this was as of two weeks ago. And then we got more information here on Goldman Sachs is the latest firm pulling out uh, from Fisher, which equated losses up to $2.7 billion at that time. And then we have Fisher Investment Outflow surpassed two point five as Los Angeles Pension Fund departs as well. And then we have from Barron's, it says Fisher Investment loses New Hampshire account. And so it looks like New Hampshire's pension has pulled $239 million it invested with the firm, according to Bloomberg. And then the next one here says Fidelity pulls out $500 million relationship with Fisher Investment. And so if this isn't a prime time story, I'm not quite sure what is, because once again, this is a situation where you will not hear about these continuous pulling of funds from this particular gentleman and his company here, because if you were to hear about it, it would definitely catch the attention of a lot of people that will also begin questioning all these big corporations that are deciding to pull out. And so I would imagine this story here will be on the hush for quite some time, unless 
you choose to share this video to help more people realize the possibility of what could be coming down the line that resembles what's taking place outside this country. But once again, the goal is not to incite fear, but just to keep you educated on what's going on because once again, you got pension funds pulling out, you got big institutions such as Fidelity and Goldman Sachs pulling out. To me, that spells trouble and definitely I'd imagine all the smaller pension funds as well as individuals probably will begin questioning the run on these accounts here. Therefore, to me, it spells problems no matter how you look at it. But I thought I would bring this to your attention because once again, you may not hear this anywhere else. So what I encourage you to do, if you found this informative, share this video, give it a thumbs up so more people can find out about it. And if you enjoy content like this, please consider becoming a sponsor of the channel via Patreon. Your support goes a long way as YouTube, of course, is beginning to demonetize even more, as well as not showing videos, but not going to complain. I appreciate any help you guys could give. And if you've enjoyed this, definitely share it. Look forward to bringing you more news. Enjoy your day.